What is your name? I don't think I ever had one. In a world of madness, we have found order. I have corrected him. Never let a stranger enter the sanctuary. You have welcomed a threat. We get to play with the fresh one. Welcome to Screen Recaps, and today we are going to be recapping the movie Glass House. In this dystopian world, a poisonous substance named the Shred has spread across the globe, causing widespread memory loss among the population. A lone traveler seeks refuge in the forest and stumbles upon a vast greenhouse with a clear, no trespassing sign. Yet he approaches cautiously and is met with a shot fired by B. Inside the greenhouse resides an isolated family consisting of mother and her children, B, Evie, Daisy, and Gabe. Mother has devised a comprehensive survival system, including cultivating their own crops for sustenance and clean air. They wear personalized necklaces to aid in memory retention and masks for protection during outdoor excursions. Unfortunately, Gabe, in his youth, forgot to wear his mask on occasion, leading to a dementia-like condition that occasionally requires him to be restrained in bed. The family strictly enforces a policy of not allowing outsiders into their sanctuary. Any unfamiliar individual who sets foot on their land is promptly shot, but only after verifying they are not their long-lost sibling, Luca, who possesses a specific identification code. When a stranger is killed, the girls salvage certain body parts for rituals and use the rest as fertilizer, burying them outside. The man who was shot today had a photograph in one of his pockets, which Evie decides to keep for herself before disposing of his remains. She later hides the photograph in a secret box within the greenhouse. During their ritual gatherings around the harvested body parts, the family expresses gratitude for the protection provided by the glass house. They have adorned all the glass walls with drawings illustrating the story of mother settling here with her family as a solemn promise not to forget their origins. One evening, while B is on sentry duty outside, she spots an approaching stranger who removes his mask. B signals him with a flashlight for the code, but the stranger does not respond. According to their rules, she should eliminate him. But something about his face triggers a peculiar reaction in B. When the stranger collapses, B decides to defy the rules and brings him inside. Mother is understandably furious and initially wants to dispose of him, but Daisy points out that their sanctuary's second rule declares everything within it as sacred. Thus, the stranger falls under their protection. Mother seizes this opportunity to teach the girls how to mend wounds, starting with the stranger's injured leg. The following morning, the newcomer awakens, securely fastened to a bed, and finds B slumbering beside him on the floor. Gabe, too, wakes up to discover he's had an accident while shackled to the bed. Evie goes in search of B to assist with the cleanup. B, yearning to be close to the newcomer, hastily assists Evie in removing the soiled sheets without minding that Gabe is still on the bed. This leads to an uncomfortable moment among the siblings. B then hurries back to tend to the newcomer's facial hair, only to find that he's already awake. Despite her fear, she attempts to pose some questions that the newcomer remains silent about. After B and Evie change his bandages, Mother approaches to interrogate the man, who believes he may have never had a name. He explains that civilization has almost entirely crumbled, and the few remaining wanderers are desperate for resources, he was attacked by one of them, resulting in his injury. He inquires if he can leave, but Mother insists he must stay and work like everyone else, as he now knows about them. Later, Evie notices that Gabe feels uneasy around the stranger, so she tries to lift his spirits by showing him the toys he used to create, but he can't recall them. B, more assertive, brings Gabe closer to the newcomer, encouraging him to touch the man's face to demonstrate their shared humanity but Gabe remains cautious. The following morning, the newcomer is assigned to work in the greenhouse, still restrained for security. B's infatuation with him continues, and she brings him a plate of fresh fruit, elated to see him pick a strawberry. She also promises to teach him how to read. Whenever Evie needs assistance with chores, B tries to persuade her to do them alone to have more time with the newcomer. This frustrates Evie, who reminds B that they can't trust a stranger but B is too infatuated to listen. During the window sealing task, B works diligently while explaining to the newcomer that the drawings depict their family's history. The newcomer notices an illustration of a man and inquires about him. B responds that he was her everything, 
At dinner, B attempts to have the newcomer sit at the table, but mother insists that he cannot take Luca's place and directs him to sit with the plants. When the newcomer asks about Luca, he learns that Luca was their sibling who departed in search of survivors and hasn't returned. Time passes and the newcomer's leg gradually improves. Daisy, intrigued by the concept of animals, questions the stranger since she has never seen one. So the newcomer sketches a horse and pledges to carve one for her if she can find him a knife. Consequently, Daisy pilfers a knife from her sister's stash and brings it to him. Gabe becomes envious when he sees Daisy bonding with the stranger. At a later point, the stranger completes the horse carving for Daisy in the form of a puzzle. Gabe discovers it, and the newcomer allows him to play with it, but Gabe struggles to solve it. Fearing he's being replaced, Gabe erupts into a violent tantrum, tossing objects around. When the girls attempt to intervene, they are unable to restrain him. In this emergency, the stranger persuades Daisy to release him, and he manages to subdue Gabe by bringing him to the ground to calm him. In the evening, B examines herself in the mirror and notices a bruise on her face from Gabe's tantrum. The stranger approaches and teases her about it, causing B to accidentally refer to him as Luca. The stranger then admits he can't be Luca because he has feelings for B that a brother shouldn't have. Surprisingly, B is pleased to hear this because Luca also had forbidden feelings for her. The family decides to no longer keep the stranger shackled and he is allowed to move freely within the house. One morning, the stranger discovers B with her box and inquires about it. B explains that it used to be a game she played with Luca. The stranger expresses interest in playing, but B declines, emphasizing that he isn't Luca. She also reminds him that he shouldn't participate in all the rituals, such as the singing in the garden, because he is an outsider. However, the stranger disagrees, suggesting that these rituals are performed to remember who they are, hinting that he may need to remember as well. Afterwards, he talks to Daisy and B to learn more about the box. Daisy can't recall it because she was too young, but B remembers that Luca always kept strawberries in it, which are her favorite. Later, the stranger approaches Evie to apologize for offending her, but Evie still harbors mistrust and admits she would have shot him if she had been on sentry duty that day. The stranger offers to assist with sentry shifts, but Evie advises him to be cautious. As he departs, the stranger encounters Mother, who elucidates that everything has a purpose, and she already has a plan for him, but it doesn't involve Evie. The following day, the sisters are tending to the plants when the stranger approaches to leave a strawberry for B. In B's perspective, this signifies that he might truly be Luca but has forgotten, while Evie remains skeptical, perceiving it as a potential manipulation. In the afternoon, the stranger joins B during her sentry duty, seeking to deepen their connection. He offers her solace, persisting even when B must shoot another wanderer. The usual process is followed to tend to the new body. Once that's taken care of, B and the stranger become intimate in the entryway of the house. Since the walls are all made of glass, Evie happens to pass by and witnesses their actions, triggering an old memory. She recalls seeing B engage in similar behavior with Luki years ago, which caused her to overlook little Gabe's request to go outside. Suddenly, the stranger notices Evie, and she flees. Later, the stranger discovers something unusual in the soil and unearths Evie's box. Inside, there's a small bag with Luca's name containing two old batteries and a necklace with the letter L. He approaches Daisy to inquire about these necklaces, learning that Mother crafted them when the children were born and they were not meant to be removed. When it's time for another ritual, the stranger joins them at the table, upsetting Evie who believes that an outsider should not be interfering with their sacred customs. The stranger reveals a bag of coins he had with him when he arrived, and Luca's necklace falls out. He claims that the necklace had always been with him, and he had simply forgotten its significance. Now, he believes he truly is Luca. While B and Daisy believe him, Evie accuses him of attacking the real Luca to steal it, sparking an argument. Mother intervenes by praising Evie for protecting the family. This favoritism upsets B, who reminds everyone that Gabe's condition is Evie's fault for spying on her sister instead of preventing him from going outside unprotected. This causes Evie to depart in tears. At dinner, the stranger finally gets to sit at the table, and all these changes have Gabe on the edge. Later, Evie goes to ask Mother why she's the only one that can see the truth, but Mother simply tells her not to worry because she has a plan. Once a child comes, the man will be gone because Luca 
always leaves. That night, the siblings have to hear B and the stranger getting busy on B's bed. A few days later, the stranger's leg is finally fully healed, but mother still doesn't let him take sentry shifts alone. When the girls are doing the washing, Evie notices B hasn't had her monthly bleeding and lets mother know about it. Mother begins keeping track of B's monthlies with her calendar, and a few weeks later she informs her daughter that she's indeed pregnant. Bee's very happy to hear the news, but her glee turns sour when Mother explains their resources are limited, so Bee will have to choose between keeping the baby or the stranger. Bee begins crying and yelling to show how upset she is, and this triggers one of Gabe's panic attacks, making him run outside. Evie rushes after him as memories come to her of the day the same happened when he was a kid and he lost his memory, bringing all the guilt out. Suddenly, the stranger shows up without a mask and picks Gabe up to bring him back inside before telling Evie that this isn't her fault. Evie still cries while she explains Gabe had a beautiful mind that he lost because of her. But before the stranger can comfort her, a jealous bee interrupts them and reminds the stranger he must come with her for the next century shift. When they make it outside, Bee tells the stranger she's pregnant and that he'll need to leave, but he refuses to do so, hugging Bee and promising they'll make Mother see reason. Meanwhile, Gabe sees Evie napping, and gets on her bed too to try to reach his peak. Evie wakes up and pushes him off, but to avoid getting him more upset, she offers to help in a different way. Later, while everyone is resting, Evie leaves the bed because she can't sleep and the stranger follows her. He tells her she doesn't need to live in guilt forever, and that she shouldn't be doing those things with Gabe if she doesn't mean it. Evie disagrees, because Gabe deserves to be happy, but the stranger thinks so does she. The next day, the stranger teases Gabe for his feelings for Evie and points out she doesn't love him. She merely sympathizes with him. This infuriates Gabe, leading to another outburst that shatters a window. The girls rush to seal it before the toxin can infiltrate, and Mother scolds Gabe for his actions. However, the newcomer contends that it was an unintentional mishap. Later, Mother confides in the newcomer, expressing her suspicion that Gabe was present both times he lost control. The newcomer concedes that he believes Gabe is becoming increasingly unpredictable and might find greater happiness without memories outside. However, Mother remains resolute in her decision, prioritizing Gabe over a stranger. As night falls, Mother secures Gabe to the bed and recollects their shared history to foster feelings of love. While leaving, she encounters the newcomer who realizes that she cannot be manipulated like the girls. He makes the grim decision to eliminate her in the greenhouse using a garden tool. Afterward, he leaves the lifeless body and the tool beside Gabe's bed, attempting to make it appear as though Gabe committed the act. When Gabe awakens and discovers his mother's lifeless body, the newcomer emerges and accuses him of murder, provoking Gabe's rage and prompting him to attack the newcomer. The girls hear the disturbance and arrive just in time to witness the stranger separate from Gabe forcefully. When the man accuses Gabe of murdering mother, Evie, overwhelmed by emotion, believes him and breaks down in tears. B, deeply upset, refuses to accept that Gabe is the culprit. She attempts to formulate an explanation suggesting that perhaps Gabe had a nightmarish episode and unintentionally harmed mother in his sleep without awareness. Later, the stranger pays a visit to Gabe, who is shackled, and proceeds to gag him before opening a window, claiming it's for the best. The stranger reveals that he had to witness his loved ones deteriorate and yearn to forget as well. However, when he removed his mask, the toxin didn't affect him. He remains uncertain why he is immune but is convinced that memories equate to pain. Thus, letting the toxin inside will supposedly bring happiness to Gabe. The girls initiate the preparations for the ritual involving mother's body. However, Daisy finds the prospect of performing such acts on their own mother deeply disturbing. Consequently, Evie takes Daisy away to soothe her. Unbeknownst to Evie, she leaves her box behind, providing B with an opportunity to investigate. Inside, B discovers the small bag with Luca's name and the two batteries. This triggers a recollection of her shooting an outsider that she had never disclosed to her family. She hastily exits the house, heading to the garden, where she digs a grave and retrieves a flashlight that brings back the memories in full. Astonishingly, B realizes that the man she had killed was the genuine Luca, unable to provide the identification code due to dead flashlight batteries. To conceal the truth from her family, B buries them together and removes her mask in an attempt to forget her actions. The fact that the batteries and the necklace were found in Evie's box implies that she was aware of the incident all along. 
B returns indoors to confront her sister for leading her to believe that Luca could return. However, Evie explains that she did it to shield B from greater anguish. This revelation prompts B to propose going outside together, but Evie declines, unwilling to lose her sense of self, and tries to prevent her. The stranger intervenes to halt their struggle, and when he focuses on Evie, B becomes jealous and flees outside to forget. While Evie desires to chase after her, the stranger stops her, emphasizing that she has the right to her own life. At that moment, Daisy informs the others that Gabe has undergone a transformation, lying silently in bed as if he were absent. As Evie endeavors to discern the cause of Gabe's condition, B re-enters the house and fails to recognize the stranger, confirming that the toxin has erased her memory. Evie begins to comprehend that she's gradually losing her entire family to the toxin, leaving her as the sole bearer of memories. The stranger reminds her that he cannot forget either and pledges his support. Evie agrees that they won't divulge the dark secrets and will collaborate to protect the family. Subsequently, the hierarchy within the household shifts. Evie and the stranger become the leaders of the family, while Daisy finally accepts that she is B's daughter rather than mother's. The actual Luca had impregnated B, but he departed when her mother forced her to choose between her baby and her boyfriend. Following the ritual for mother's body, the new family embarks on a joyful life together, updating the glass artwork to represent the new members. He doesn't wear a mask anymore when she goes outside, and Evie hopes that since the stranger is the father, the baby will survive with their dad's immunity. Gabe may not speak, but he does start to act on his own, and one afternoon, he begins digging in the garden because a memory has come back to him. He finds two skeletons wearing Evie and Bee necklaces, revealing that the living ones aren't the originals either. Mother has always been a believer in balance, so she would use a new wanderer as Luca every time she needed to replace a kid, and once the baby was born, she would put up the excuse of the choice, meaning Luca always leaves. Meanwhile, the stranger, now officially the latest Luca, has started to take sentry shifts on his own. When a young, healthy wanderer trespasses into their home, Luca decides it's time for a new replacement and shoots Gabe instead. <laughs>